also here to speak about the so-called clean zone. Uh, the name clean zone has an appropriately Orwellian ring. It implies, implies protest is dirty. Really, the whole idea of a clean zone is rather reminiscent of the portion of East Berlin visible to the West looking over the Berlin Wall. Just past the clean zone, realities of life come into focus. The clean zone has no apparent correlation with the Republican Convention. The crowds will not sprawl out in any meaningful way to most of the clean zone's parameters. In short, this is not an attempt to regulate safety, but to limit opposition, protest, peaceful assembly. As has been noted, the Secret Service has drawn its own separate parameter. Protest is being criminalized in vast regions of Tampa that will remain otherwise unaffected by the convention. The express ban only during the convention on repelling and various signage is yet another manifestation of government attempting to keep the entire city in lockstep on a message. <coughs> it means to treat public and private space as belonging to one entity, the government, and residents of the city are obliged to comply with this message of sanguinity. The idea behind the assembly and protest is not to fulfill OSHA requirements regarding what cops and body armor can endure in August. The implication of the ordinance language is that protest is confined and permitted, literally, within the confines of what the police will allow, which rather equates with police rule. What happened to, quote, Congress shall make no law abridging the right of the people peaceably to assemble. Thank you.